All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right. At least times that run. Now, today I want to discuss about deliverance. You know, I want to talk about that. He will do it. You know, God will bring you up. He will bring you out of your situation. He will get you through it. You know, deliverance and salvation is everything. And the most high, he protects his people and he keeps his promises, you know, and his word doesn't come back void, you know. So we have to remember that our situations our God is bigger than our situations, you know, our struggles, our battles, our conflicts. God is bigger than that, you know, and God will rise you up out of your situation. Everything is a learning lesson and everything is just, you know, different seasons. You know, some people struggle with um, finances or opportunities. Some struggle with um, their friendships or marriages, their, their marriage or their friendship or their relationship. Some people struggle with work or school or what have you, but just know that, you know, God will see you through, you know what I'm saying? There's light at the tunnel and you know, God will bring you to a new season. He's going to do big, great things for you. All right. You're going to have good news coming your way very soon. So don't trip too much about it. Don't get too rattled or emotional over it. You know what I'm saying? Everything is temporary out here. You feel me? So we have to remember that God is eternal. God is forever. So um, he will deliver us. He will do it. You know, you saw the things that God, you saw the miraculous things that God has done for his people within the Old and New Testament. So he's the same yesterday, today, and then tomorrow. So he's going to keep doing it for us as well. You know what I mean? So we have to always remember that and appreciate that, you know. So I just want to read a few scriptures about deliverance and just go from there. The book of Psalm, chapter 68, verse 20. God is to us a, de a God of deliverances. And to God, the Lord belong escapes from death. The book of Psalm chapter 32, verse seven. You are my hiding place. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with songs of deliverance. Selah. The book of Ab Abidia, chapter one, verse 17. But on Mount Zion, there will be those who escape and it will be holy. And the house of Jacob will possess their possessions. The book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 28. But when these things begin to take place, straighten up and lift your heads because your redemption is drawing near. The book of Psalm, chapter 78, verse 22, because they did not believe in God and did not trust in his salvation. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 17, you need not fight in this battle. Station yourselves, stand and see the salvation of the Lord on your behalf. O Judah and Jerusalem, do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow go out to face them for the Lord is with you. The book of Philippines, chapter 1, verse 19. For I know that this will turn out for my deliverance through your prayers and through the provision of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. The book of Psalm, chapter 44, verse 4. You are my king, O God. Command victories for Jacob. The book of Psalm, chapter 74, verse 12. Yet God is my king from of old, who works deeds of deliverance in the midst of the earth. The book of Isaiah, chapter 26, verse 18. We were pregnant. We worked in labor. We gave birth as it seems only to win. We could not accomplish deliverance for the earth, nor were inhabitants of the world born. The book of Psalm, chapter 35, verse 3. Draw also the spirit and the battle axe to meet those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. The book of Psalm, chapter 3, verse 8. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. Selah. The book of 2 Samuel, chapter 22, verse 1. And David spoke the words of the song to the Lord in the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. The book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 25. And he supposed that his brethren understood that God was granting them deliverance through him, but they did not understand. The book of 2 Kings, chapter 13, verse 17. He said, open the window toward the east, and he opened it. Then Elisha said, shoot, and he shot. And he said, the, Lord arrow, the Lord's arrow of victory, even the arrow of victory over Aram, for you will defeat the Arme Ar Aramians at Ephic until you have destroyed them. <clears throat> the book of Psalm, chapter 108, verse 12. Oh, give us help against the adversary, for deliverance by man is in vain. The book of Psalm, chapter 72, verse 4. May he vindicate the afflicted of the people, save the children of the needy, and crush the oppressor. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verse 1. 
Then Hannah prayed and said, My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth speaks boldly against my enemies, because I rejoice in your salvation. The book of Psalm, chapter 33, verse 17. A horse is a false hope for victory, nor does it deliver anyone by its great strength. The book of Psalm, chapter 77, verse 11. I shall remember the deeds of the Lord. Surely I will remember your wonders of old. The book of Genesis, chapter 45, verse 7. God sent me before you to preserve for you a remnant in the earth and to keep you alive by a great deliverance. By a great deliverance. The book of Job, chapter 13, verse 16. This also will be my salvation, for a godless man may not come before his presence. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 31. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but victory belongs to the Lord. The book of Psalm, chapter 3, verse 2. Many are saying of my soul, there is no deliverance for him in God, Selah. The book of Psalm, chapter 66, verse 8. Bless our God, O peoples, and sound his praise abroad. The book of Jonah, chapter 2, verse 9. But I will sacrifice to you with the voice of thanksgiving that which I have vowed I will pay. Salvation is from the Lord. The book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 3, verse 2. And that we will be rescued from per perverse and evil men, for not all have faith. The book of Psalm, chapter 60, verse 11. O oh, give us help against the adversary, for deliverance by man is in vain. The book of Psalm, chapter 14, verse 7. Oh, that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion. When the Lord restores his captive people, Jacob will rejoice. Israel will be glad. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 11, verse 9. They said to the messengers who had come, Thus you shall say to the men of Jabesh Gilead, Tomorrow by the time the sun is hot, you will have deliverance. So the messengers went and told the men of Jabesh, and they were glad. The book of Esther, chapter 4, verse 14. For if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place, and you and your father's house will perish. And who knows whether you have not attained royalty for such a time as this. The book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 35. Women received back their dead by resurrection, and others were tortured, not accepting their release, so that they might obtain a better resurrection. The book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 1. Then Moses and the sons of Israel sang this song to the Lord and said, I will sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. The horse and its rider he has hurtled into the sea. The book of Psalm chapter 42 verse 8. The Lord will command his love and kindness in the daytime, and his song will be with me in the night. A prayer to the God of my life. The book of Job chapter 6 verse 13. Is it that my help is not within me, and that deliverance is driven from me? The book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 21. So I will deliver you from the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem you from the grasp of the violent. The book of Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 22. There is no peace for the wicked, says the Lord. So as you can see how the Lord will deliver us through anything in any situation. He did it in the Old Testament, he did it in the New Testament, and he's doing it till this day forevermore. God will protect us. God will keep us from trouble. God will give us peace. And he will make our situations better. We have to have our faith on point. We have to keep obeying him and listening to him. We have to keep him first and keep living for him, you know, and keep changing and growing and getting better and stronger. All right. So I know things might feel look a little crazy right now, but things will get better. All right. Just trust in the Lord no matter what and keep going. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized. You start your life with for the Lord. I pray that things get better for you and that. You have new beginnings and that you will be delivered by the most high in a beautiful way. I'm Jarvis Case. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.